So a while back I filmed this clip of um, Sean Malto doing a kickflip up a curb to 50-50 down a rail and um, I mounted my GoPro camera to the bottom of his board and I got a lot of emails from kids asking me how I did it. Um, so in this video I'm going to show you how I did it. And by no means is this the right way to do it. And I'm sure there's a, a bunch of other ways you can do it, but this is how I do it. So the first thing you want to do is take the camera out of the case. Um, you, you don't need it at all, and it, it frees up a lot of room, and every millimeter counts. So all you need is the camera and gaffer's tape. Uh, the reason I use gaffer's tape is because it doesn't leave any kind of sticky residue like uh, duct tape does. It's pricey, but it's worth it. I take off a little bit of the, the tape and then I'll roll it up just to make a padding for the bottom of the camera so it takes away a lot of the vibration and it mounts the camera into place. So you just roll it up and stick it onto the bottom of the camera and you just put it wherever you want it to be. Now that it's mounted to the board, what we're going to do next is run tape across the top to hold it more securely and you want to put the gaffer's tape on top and pull it as tight as you can. What I do next is I'll, I'll run tape parallel with the, the sides of the board to hold the tape that's running across the board to give it a little bit more support. But you don't want to put too much uh, in front of the camera because the lens will pick it up so you'll see the actual gaffer's tape. So you want to kind of keep it more so towards the back of the board or behind the camera. And I'll, I do that, like I'll run tape along both sides just to give this strip um, a little bit extra support. So the last thing I do is I'll run another strip of tape on top of the tape that I've already put down just to give it a little bit more support because obviously, you know, it's a $300 camera and don't want it falling off so I think that this kind of gives it just a little bit extra support and it holds it nice and tight so you're pretty much good to go. So that's how I mount a GoPro camera to the bottom of a board. Uh, Nick's going to skate it and show us how it looks. So normally I film without the LCD and today we tried it with the LCD and it didn't really work. I think with the LCD mounted to the back of the camera, it makes it a lot more sensitive. Like if a skater bells and the board goes flying all over the place and the camera can't really put up with that kind of abuse. So you want to have the LCD off and if you want to play it back, just put it back on and watch it afterwards and you should be fine. If it's mounted to the bottom of your board, it's going to take a lot of impact. And a lot of times the SD card will pop out. To fix that, you can just take some gaffer's tape and run it across that part of the camera and, and uh, that should do the trick. Every time a skater tries something, if he bells his trick, just go back and check over the camera to make sure it's still recording and make sure that the um, SD card is still in. When you give this to the person that's skating, just make sure they don't do any lip tricks because backsmiths kind of work, lip slides don't work, Board slides don't work. Because the camera's so small, um, there's a ton of different ways that you can mount it and different places that you can mount it. There's, there's a clip that I have of Nick uh, Garcia doing a board slide on a rail in Palm Springs where I mounted it to his head and he's basically looking down and you get um, a different perspective on that. So you can pretty much put this thing anywhere um, as long as you got a smooth surface and some gaffer's tape. Um, you are taking a chance, and it is pretty sketchy, so you might break your camera. So if that happens, don't blame me. Um, just get out there and experiment with it and see what you can do.